thank you guys for locking into my channel where we're going to be discussing things about the Traxxas two-wheel drive slash. So let's get started. So today's episode segment is going to be about tires. Tires are a very big essential part of your vehicle as far as performance and I have a little bit variety of tires over here for SCT trucks. SCT stands for short course truck and that's basically what a slash is. It's a short course truck. Now the vehicle itself comes with stock rims and tires like this. It's all one piece. They are sealed. They have foam on the inside. They're 12 millimeter hex on the inside. They do have markings uh, on the inside and I'll show you right over here. This one says front and on the rear ones, they say rear, as you can tell right over there. Now, performance wise, I was not too thrilled about it. It did pretty good in straightaways, things like that. In turns, uh, with the original chassis that was on there, which is kind of high off the ground, it did have a lot of problems with rollovers. And tires probably have some something to do with it as well. Also, the vehicle is higher off the ground, so the higher the vehicle goes off the ground, the bigger chance you go into a turn too fast, it might roll on you. So. I did have these tires at one point on a low center of gravity chassis, which you can purchase as well online. Uh, they actually bring the vehicle closer to the ground for better performance. And I tried them with these tires on there. A little bit better performance, but still there was maybe a couple times when I did have a rollover into, into a, a tight turn or anything like that. Most of these uh, SCT tires, they are pretty much the same size. It's uh, 2.2 inch by three inch. That means it's three inch from here to there and 2.2 from here to there. Uh, for SCT trucks, they're pretty much the same size tire all the way around, not having larger tires in the rear and smaller ones in the front like a dragster or anything like that. For short course running, uh, it's the best thing to do to have the same kind of tire all the way around for as what I experienced with it. Now, I wanted to show you, um, and I made a photocopy on this little pamphlet right here, a tire that I purchased a long time ago by uh, Proline right there. And, you know, as you can tell, they have all kinds of different types of tires with different purposes. This particular one uh, shows for a Baja TA, it's, and as it shows, it's 2.2. Uh, inches by three all-terrain tires mounted on raid black six by 30 that's in millimeters removable hex wheels so let me just explain to you what that really means so here's a, the tire right here again it's just like um, the original one that I showed you that was on there it is a one piece uh, mounted on a rim that is sealed so you cannot take the rim off I mean, you cannot take the tire off the rim. It's one piece. It doesn't have any markings on the inside saying front or rear or anything like that. The nice thing about this tire and rim is that if anything happens to where on the inside, around the hex area right here, there's a stress crack right over here. And actually, I have one to show you, which what happened to me. Here's a stress crack right over here. Let me get a little closer. Look till you can see the, the crack right there. Now that's from gunning it, slamming on the brakes, reversing it, all kinds of stuff. Now this hub assemb assembly right over here, and let me show you the same one with the screws in it. This is what it looks like. And it does come with the tires when you buy the tires. I think they come in sets of two when you buy them in the store or even online. Uh, they do require a uh, two, two millimeter uh, hex, which fits right on the screws itself. So, you know, the good thing is, is that if the center right here, if, if the, the hub breaks for whatever reason, you can take these screws out, replace it with a new piece that goes in there and tighten them back up. So you're going to end up with something like this. And um, by the time you remove the center, it's going to look like that. So it's a big, huge open hole in the center. So what does a 6 by 30 mean? This right over here shows th 3, which stands for 30 millimeters. That's 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters is 30 millimeters. 
And then the six means it's being held by six screws, bolts, whatever you want to call them. And it's very effective. It works really good. I like it. I like it because I know that if I would get in trouble and let's say I get in trouble just like I did with the old center hub right over here. And this is also a 12 millimeter. Say this is your, this is an old one that I have. It's a metal one, okay? So here's the hex nut right over here. It fits right in there like so. Your, your vehicle, if you have a two wheel drive slash, has 12 millimeter hex nuts in the front and the rear. Okay, now, by showing you this, this is probably the better thing to do, and these perform very well as far as I'm concerned. I use them on the street, and I use them in the dirt, I use them in the sand. They do pretty well. But there are people who are more into uh, RC stuff. They have tried the different types of tires and things like that. And, you know, as on here in this pamphlet, you know, you see you have the trancher, you have the Badlands. A lot of people like buying the Badlands because they got pretty good grip over there too. Okay, the Gladiator, Street Fighter, and the list goes on and on and on. The Slingshot, those will probably be good to like on... Uh, like beach sand or something like that, you know, if you have or if, if you're running your vehicle on an area where they have a lot of loose sand and so they grip pretty good. But this is what they call an all-terrain. Just like a, a real tire, the, uh, be of Goodrich tire, they all-terrain, you know, you can use them in all kinds of kind of different weather situations. So anyways, uh, let's move on as far as tires. Well, I wanted to show you this tire right here. It's got nice white lettering on it, which kind of faded out over time a little bit. Uh, this one does not have a center hub that comes out, so don't let this fool you because you see six little indentations right there. That is nothing. It's all one piece. But anyways, it's, it's, it's got a pretty nice little, you know, tread pattern on it. Um, these actually don't, uh, uh, they're not too bad, actually. These do work a little bit better than the, the stock ones. Um, if I would press this in, this doesn't have quite as much foam as the Pro Lines have but you can still feel it. It doesn't It doesn't go all the way down like that one does. You see what I'm talking about? So it does perform pretty decent. But one thing I wanna go back on as far as the pro lines go, and it kind of seems like I'm focusing in a lot on pro lines, but this is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time to show new beginners, is that let's say this is the tire that you took off there of your vehicle and you need to replace it because there was let's say some cracks in the back and, it, and the tire was kind of starting to wobble a little bit on you things like that so all you need is a two millimeter right over here or you can get yourself like a, a gun like this one with a two millimeter on the end right over there it goes a little bit faster by hand you just put them in there and turn them to the left okay and unscrew them which takes a little bit longer because if you're going to use the electric one you know, it goes a lot faster. You put that two millimeter in there and boom, there it comes, it's coming out. So you losing all six of them, you're gonna end up with something like this. And I'm sorry, with something like this. So let's pretend that this bad one right here is a good one. So there's only one way that it goes in. It doesn't go in this way. Simply, it's not gonna work. Okay, you need to make sure that the hex side, this side right over here is facing towards the back because that's where your axle goes through. The axle goes through here like that. You get it? So don't reverse them, it simply won't work. This is very flush right over here. Once you put it in there, you flip around, keep your finger right in the back, flip around, and just put the screws in it. Now, when you put that in, I would suggest put one in here, put one in there, 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 like a star almost, just like you do in a real car. If you're a youngster, you don't have a car, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but for the people that are a little bit older than you are that do have a car, they know about changing a tire. So you, you, you don't want to put all the stress on one and then go to the next all the stress. No, you want to tighten it up equally. So you want to put one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then you want to kind of snug them in the same way, okay, in that same same formation, and then, and then tighten them down. So, and then you'll be good to go. So I wanted to point that out to you real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this right here. And uh, that's one thing that I wanted to show you for sure. Now, now that I kinda loosened this one up right over here, I'm gonna put it back in. There's no such thing as when you put it on and you put it back in and go, and kinda go slow, you don't have to go fast. Just to make sure it's not gonna strip anything. But when you come to the, all the way to the end, 
you'll feel it kind of grip a little bit like that. That's tight enough. If you want to go a little bit tighter, if you're not sure, you can take your manual one and go around in the same pattern. One here, one there, one there, 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 in that pattern. So I hope that makes sense to you. Now, Proline does make uh, a set of different kinds of hubs like this. And we'll get into that next because I have them right here in front of you. You have a kit and this is the this is a what they call a hex adapter kit you can tell right over here it shows you right there and the part number is 6355-00 i believe i only paid like maybe ten dollars for the entire set which is kind of cool uh, it comes with 12 14 and 17 millimeter hex nuts so going back to this is just original not original this is the standard 12 millimeter hex nut that you will find on your slash okay it will fit in this one right over here but obviously it will not fit on that one or that one some of them have markings on it let's see here if i can find it uh like sorry this one right over here let me get a little closer look for you okay I just saw it, here it is, kind of hard to see. See what says like 17 millimeter right there, right over there? That means that this is a 17 millimeter diameter right over here. You can tell the size is much larger than a, than a 12. And so you have it 12, 14 and 16, uh, 17, sorry. If you're happy with the stock tires, stay with the stock tires. If you want to improve a little bit, well, go to the next step. But, you know, everything costs a little bit more money, you know, if you want to have better performance. But you're going to, in the long run, you're going to have a lot more fun with it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out. And we'll see you on the next episode.